Okay, so we've got some great stone gatherers. But what about under the sea? Well, here is the Dunkleosaurus. With the ability to smash rocks and oil nodes, this creature can get you oil and stone really, really easy and quickly without even having to stop. Not only that, it has an armored head and a very powerful bite, making this creature twice as dangerous as what the Megalodon is. This creature is one of the best water mounts in my opinion and with good reason. So sit back guys, relax, and let's go get ourselves a Dunkleosaurus. So we're going for the Dunkleosaurus today, and the first thing is obviously the saddle. Now, I do have one bound in a drop. Here we go. Well, I've got two, actually. That's even better. But if you're not as lucky as me, and you have to learn the engram and create it yourself, you need to be a level 44. There it is. And to make this, all you're going to need is 120 cementing paste, 180 fiber, 300 hide, and 80 metal ingots. Now, obviously, for weapons, we are going to need to track this bad boy. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a crossbow with me. And do I have a harpoon gun? I... It would appear not. I don't have an harpoon gun. Okay, we're just going to take a crossbow with us and a pike. Let's take a... We'll take a strong pike with us, that one. Not the strongest, but the strong pike. There we go, just to jab people away. Oh, we do have a harpoon gun. Ignore me. There we go, we're taking the harpoon gun as well. And because we're going under the sea, obviously we're going to need ourselves some scuba gear. Now, when it comes to the consumables, we are going to need a fair bit. So I'm going to take a stack of 100 narcotics with us today. On to the taming food. And today, we're going to take with us superior kibble. Because that's what they prefer. If not, you can take raw mutton, prime meat. Or if you really want to, just normal meat or raw fish meat. Either is good, but to make the superior kibble, you're going to need one large egg, one prime meat jerky, two citronel, sap, two rare mushroom, five fiber, and water. And the dino companion today is a um, good old Mosasaur. So the location for a Dunkleosaurus is all around the map, to be fair, guys. They're a bit tricky to find mostly found mid to bottom of the ocean it's just going to be a case of roaming until you find one okay guys so me and mosasaur have found a dunkleosaurus let's go see how uh what the damage is and what level are you oh, come here just hit you a few times before it can turn now they are fully armored so be wary. I think this is a low level if it's trying to escape. Ooh. Right, is it just turning round? I think it might just be turning round to attack me. I don't know. Come on. Ooh, what level are you? Don't know. Oh, we're in the icy regions. I know that though. There we go. We got it. We got it. It's a level 16. Level 16, not too bad. My mouse saw is there. Oh, God. All right, good job I bought my normal arrows for these boys and gals. Cheers, Bruce. Uh, oh, a slow saurus. Right, my mouse saw's there. Where's this guy, gal? I'm just going to place in at the U. Oh, no. I've lost my... I've lost my narcotics. Damn. Let's pray that these guys don't uh, have a... Okay. Not too bothered. The torpidity is not too bad. We should be uh, be okay. I've got some supplies in my... Uh, in my Mose saw down there. So I'm not too worried. All right, Mr. Dunkleosaurus. Oh, we've got another one. Okay. No, I'm a bit too far for you, man. Come on, come over here, you. No, okay. Just stay over there, good boy. Right, we've got, we've got to try and get this one. 
I want a oh there's a motorcycle there. I want a meg I want a male realistically. Oh Jesus! Hello Moses. Oh we've got a male here, nice. So yeah, he's just trying to attack me because I got a bit close, but thing is he's not that uh it's a bit hard for them to turn and attack me because I'm such a little target. So you're alright swimming out and just attacking these. I bought my uh, Moses on one for... Oh, Jesus Christ! One for resupplying, and the other is because... Oh, come on. Because I can hide inside. So, as you can see, the second they get attacked, they're swimming away. Oh, shot. No, okay, right, I think... I might lose this guy. Where'd it go? Oh, it's gone. Is it gone? So you are, what, are you a male, female? Ah, oh, come on, we've got this. We can get you. Oh. If it's a female, it'll be better, because... Our, uh, our female that we've got over there is a bit bit weak. It's a bit low, but if not, we're happy with that. Ah, come on. Ooh, I'm nearly out. Nearly out, but we'll be all right. So they have full protection on their whole body because they're just absolute beasts. Ah, so they're getting reduced damage all the time. Oh yes, nice one, my last one. I have bought some of these just in case. Right, let's see what you were, uh, what's the score with you? You nearly up? Not really. Stack in half. Uh, you could have that. And what level are you? Oh, you're a male, ah, oh, nice, there we go. There we go. Um, I'm just going to go back to my, oh, my Mosaur's right over there. I'm going to go back to my Mosaur and get some uh, narcotics. Okay, guys, so we've got our Mosaur and he's, he was getting attacked by these eels. I moved him away and I've killed these. But they broke my roof. They broke my base. It's quite damage quite a lot of it which sucks but luckily in here there we go we've got my nice little stash oh i can't get out yeah let me get i'm stuck let me get out through the roof there we go so we've got we've managed to uh pull this off and get some narcotics luckily and that's the whole reason i bring my uh bring some uh moses sort with nice trunks and everything in the back so the good thing about bringing a Mosasaur as well, guys, if I was to run out of, say, Superior Kibble, I can just get this guy to eat stuff, such as these uh, these eels and the megs and stuff like that, and they'll give me a lot of fish. Basically, I'll never run out. There we go, look at that. Oh, we're in the world barrier! Okay guys, so, after a very long wait, we finally have these guys and girl up. So, it's been a long wait, nothing eventful, nothing literally around me or anything like that, literally just sat here waiting. It took a fairly long time, but let's go test these guys out. So, the first thing is first, guys, the Dunkleosaurus is really slow, and I mean really slow. This is their walking speed. This is their sprinting speed. Oh yeah, they're very slow indeed. I wouldn't replace any of my water creatures for this when it comes to speed. Now normally slow speed means slow stamina. Not the case, guys. This guy is terrible for stamina as well. Look at that, we're getting nowhere. And our stamina is pretty much gone. It is gone now. And look at that, we're back to slow, really slow swimming. Now one good thing about the Dunkleosaurus is the attack. Now this is the equivalent to a Rex. These guys can deal damage. They can take out Megs very easily. 
Now, as you can imagine, the Dunkleosaurus is a tank and can literally take damage like no tomorrow. We've got a Meg just letting it chew on us for a little bit and look at that. It's going to take a long time for this boy to kill us. Okay, guys, we've got an Alpha here. This might be a mistake, but we're going to go for it. Oh, we've got an alpha and a normal mech now. The best thing to do is just stand still and attack. We're not even halfway through our health yet, so that's a good thing. There we go, we've got it, and look at that, we've got all this. Not only are they great for killing Alpha Megs and Megs and things like that, the gathering on these guys is awesome. You can see we can get loads of fish off just one Meg, not even just the Alpha, any Meg. The other thing is they don't collect raw prime meat. As you could imagine, if we'd have killed this Alpha Brex, Alpha Meg, sorry, then we would have got raw prime meat. Now there's one thing that stands the Don Colostrius out from every water creature, and that is the ability to smash rocks or oil nodes like this. We can smash them without getting off them. So we can just attack it and boom, look at that. Look how much oil we collected, 210. Let's go over to this one and smash this one. This is basically like, it's a little bit like the Ankylo for water look at this can we smash this rock it's not smashable is it okay trust me to choose the non-smashable one oh we killed a try the biting one nice there we go look we can smash open these rocks and look we're getting metal as well so we can collect metal stone oil all in the matter of seconds guys so the Dunkleosaurus has the highest weight out of any other aquatic creature other than the most obviously and as well as that weight they get a weight reduction yeah that's right so for example this stone we've got 100 and it's weighing us 25 if we put it in us it's 50 so it's a massive 50 percent weight reduction now with oil again 50 percent with metal it's 50 percent again but with obsidian they can get obsidian it's a massive 75% weight reduction for obsidian. So guys, that has been it for me and my Dunkleosaurus. I hope you did enjoy it. If you did, don't forget to smash that like button and hit the subscribe button while you're doing that because it helps me out loads, guys. Trust me, loads. And I'll see you all in the next episode.